Today we're going to be looking at the Keurig K-Duo Plus, which is on the left of the screen, and this unit, the K-Supreme, not the K-Supreme Plus, the K-Supreme has a reservoir that can sit on the left or in the back. The K-Duo Plus, that mm -hmm. reservoir can be placed on the right, the back, or the left. Here is the K-Supreme. If you want to swap out the location of that reservoir, you got to flip it upside down. You got to pull out that little clip, which comes out very easy. Uh, I should point out, I am doing this entire thing with one hand. My, my left hand is holding the camera. So, um, although I look like I'm struggling a little bit here, uh, it's actually very, very easy to do this on the K-Supreme, um, you know, considering the fact that I'm only doing it with one hand. Once you pull that clip out, the reservoir literally just kind of slides out and swivels around. And then you stick the clip back into the, the gap, and now it's in the back. Keurig gives you this little groove to stick the cord into, so uh, that's a non-issue. All in all, the K-Supreme is very easy to move the reservoir from the right to the back. Now, I do wish that you could go around to the third point there on the left side, but uh, I guess somehow or other the way that they designed it, um, that just doesn't happen. One thing I dislike about the pitcher in the back is you see that handle, it kind of sticks out to the right. And, uh, you know, of course, that's if I get the pitcher like that, you could grab the pitcher and put it on the other side, you like flip it around 180 degrees, but then the handle is sticking out the left. So even though this configuration is slimmer and uh, let's say deeper, you still have the handle of the pitcher kind of protruding to one side or the other, which isn't ideal. K-Duo Plus, I find, is much more convenient in terms of its, um, in terms of your ability to relocate the, the, uh, the water reservoir. I don't necessarily like the base of the water reservoir on the K-Duo Plus. Uh, you see there on the K-Supreme, the base is uh, not deep, but the K-Duo Plus, um, you can see it sticks up really high. Um, it's not a big deal, but when you go to put the water pitcher on and off, um, I'm always kind of bumping into it because it sticks up. In any event, the K-Duo Plus, although you can put that pitcher on, on any side of the three that you like, I like it on the right because it, it's right up against my refrigerator, you can see that the connection is different. Now, the K-Duo Plus is an older machine. This is an older uh, design and this one I cannot do with one hand. I had to give the camera to my son to film. So they've got similar clips. I'll pull that one out for the back. There's another one under my left hand if you want to put the reservoir on the other side. But I literally, you have to push and hold that thing in pretty hard and then pull somewhat hard to get it un, un loose. But then once it's loose, watch this just kind of flops down really easy like it's um, once you've got it detached you can move it around pretty freely and, and even the power cord is easier to to finagle here here it just clicks right in so clicking it in is easy clicking it out it takes a little bit of muscle uh, they give you two of those little clips um, because the third is never going to be exposed because that's where the water reservoir is going to be here I'm putting the reservoir in the back, obviously. A little bit later in this video, I'll uh, show you me putting it on the left side. Here in my home, I've used the K-Duo Plus a ton, although I haven't used it a lot since probably winter of 2020. I actually had to pull this out of the garage and kind of clean it up a little bit. Again, like the K-Supreme, when the reservoir is in the back, the handle of the pitcher always protrudes to one side or the other. So you can't really put it flush against a wall or a fridge. This is the swivel action in motion for the K-Duo Plus. Um, it's really made to not put pressure on the, uh, the water tubing. There's actual like a plastic uh, swivel thing in there that kind of protects the tubing. 
like I said, that this this machine is harder to move the reservoir, but at you know, I mean, it's still not hard. It still is pretty easy. Once you have two hands, you can still do it in about a minute. Um, and quite honestly, you're I can't imagine a scenario where you're going to be changing the location of that water reservoir regularly. Um, you're probably just going to set it up on your kitchen counter the way that you want and leave it there. That's what I do. When I use the KDUA Plus, I keep the reservoir on the right side of the machine. That way I can access it easier uh, to fill it up because I have it butted up there against the fridge. All in all, these are easy machines to configure. The K Supreme gives you less configuration options as the K Duo Plus, but it's easier to configure. I don't know if that's really a selling point or not. To me, a selling point would be putting, being able to put that reservoir on the left or the right. Anyway, if you've got any questions about how this happens, any questions about the placement or the location of these uh, water reservoirs on these two machines, go ahead and leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them uh, efficiently and accurately for you. I hope this video was helpful, and uh, if it was, please hit that like button um, and, uh, and subscribe for more videos like this and along the same vein of, as this. Thanks a lot.